You should try soya milk, can't you, Em? I'm not a vegan, Geoffrey. I'm not even vegetarian. You should still try it. You should try full cream butter and dairy milk chocolate. I do, sometimes, when nobody's watching. So you have been known to give in to temptation? I'm afraid so. It's good to know you're human after all. Well, you can't lecture people all the time. I mean, there's a limit to the conversational value of veal calves and free-range hens. We all have to draw the line somewhere. I know. Even if we are in the right. Aren't we a bit early, Geoffrey? The meeting doesn't start till half twelve. Well, it's never too early to save the planet, aren't you, Em? I'm just going to go and canvass some support. Look, I don't want to serve it. I've come for the meeting. Look, you can have it. You're too young. Look, I'm not a customer. I'm an activist. Well, go out somewhere else, then. Well, Mr Gilroy said that everyone would be welcome. Look, come back in an hour. You mean you'll let me in for the meeting? Well, if you behave yourself and you don't have a drink, not even an orange juice. Oh, cheers, Vera. You're a real eco-warrior. Yeah, well, even if I am, I'm still Mrs Duckworth to you. I'll be back for the meeting, Spider. Oh, good. Bring a friend. I haven't got any. Thanks. I'll get that, Vera. And pour us a pint, will you please, love? Right, love. Well, that's very kind of you, Norman. By way of gratitude, Emily, I read your letter in the Gazette and I agreed with every word. Really, it's something I should have written. Have you come today to support the meeting? Yes, I have. Alf Roberts and his cronies are megalomaniacs and they've got to be stopped. Sometimes you need a bit of a nudge before you realise how strongly you feel. I know. It made me think. When I was a kid, I used to play on the Red Wreck every day. Digging for treasure, building dens, chasing me mates around. Well, you stirred my conscience. Well, it was Geoffrey who stirred mine. Are you glad he's come to stay with you? Oh, I am. He's given me a new lease of life. It's, he's shaken me out of myself. He's a breath of fresh air. He really is. She's not bothered whether they build a concert ball or not. All she wants is to get a grip on that spider. Everyone else in the street's going to that meeting in the Rovers. But you're not, are you? And do you know why? Yeah, because my guts are even and there's bombs going off in my head. No, because you're stupid. You're the only people around here too thick to understand the issues. Hey, who you calling thick? We should go, Les. What? Why? Well, I'd like a concert ball in the park. We could have a bit of a dance. No, we couldn't. It'd be flaming Mozart and you can't dance to that. Oh. It'll be all kinds of different music. Suit every taste. Shaking Stevens. Shaking Stevens, eh? Come on. Let's get your coat on. Come on. Hey! It's a protest meeting. You can't go if you're in favour. We can go if we want. Why? Because we want to put our point of view across. Anyway, I like a good fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking for your support in opposing the imminent destruction of a local beauty spot, wildlife sanctuary and children's playground by the Weatherfield Council. It's about people empowering themselves. About the voice of democracy being heard. Yeah. They just want to chop down a few trees, that's all. I haven't put up a concrete monstrosity none of us wants. Hey, hang on. Who says we don't want it? Dad. I mean, when was the last time you was at the Red Wreck? Uh, that those trees near the kiddies' play area are the last bit of greenery we've got in the district. Where are we going to go to to fill our lungs full of fresh air? Well, I've got a cypress. But then about you. <laughs> yeah, but if you had kids, you'd want somewhere for them to play, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, Martin's right. You're the first to complain if any lad kicks a ball near your motor. Uh, <laughs> too right. The parents should keep them under control. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. You want to get yourself lynched. Well, I thought this meeting was about free speech. It is. It's about not letting the bully boys, the local government, decide what's best for the community. Right. It's about us taking power. Oh, and... he's one of the local bully boys now. <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself, Councillor Roberts? May I address the meeting, Mr Chairman? You, you may, Councillor. Right. You've all heard what the environmentalists have to say. Now, let me put another point of view. Weatherfield needs green spaces, yes. yes. But it also needs jobs, not just bushes. Now, the Millennium Concert Bowl will bring in hundreds of short-term construction jobs and dozens of permanent jobs in the leisure industry, not to mention the knock-on effect of other businesses. 
Yeah, what about the excessive noise level at night? You know, keeping the residents awake. You're fixed, hating about noise, you are. We want somewhere for the kids to play, Alf. Well, you'll still have a playground. We'll revise the plan. How are you going to do that, Alf? You can't make a playground out of thin air. We'll chop down a few more trees. Oh, that's oh. it. You heard it from the councillor's own mouth. He won't rest till there's neither a blade of grass nor a tree left in Weatherfield. It's Manchester Airport all over. Concrete, as far as the eye can see. Now, just listen. I propose we march on mass to the town hall. And we pick it a council and rally the support of the workers. Well, it's not just our environment, it's theirs too. The red wreck belongs to us all. Out! 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 You're perfect! Out! 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 Oh, come on, love, we're not listening to this. Out! 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 I am going. Shut up, the pair of you. And get that down your necks. Oh, I'm not hungry, he's put me off my food. Yeah, they'll be sitting next to that spider that's done that. He stinks. He doesn't. Oh, he doesn't smell that bad, Les. Look, do you want her camping out on the town hall steps? No, I want her here with us, in our happy home. <laughs> Look, Toya, it's not people like them that get things done. It's people like us. Scroungers. You watch your mouth. I've told you before I'm not above giving you a good clout. Hey, nobody is giving anybody a good clout. Not on New Year's Day. We'll be fighting for 12 solid months. <laughs> and what'd be new about that? You know, you've got too much to say for yourself. Right, I'm off out then. Tra. Tra, love. Ta da. If Spider wants me to sit on the town hall steps with him, then that's what I'll do. And you'll make a fool of yourself. I don't care. You'll be the laughing stock of the whole street. The whole borough. So? Hey, more than that. The whole country. Did you know they take television cameras to that sort of thing? Oh, well, then I'll be famous. You can queue up for me autograph. You know, she's off her head. She's in love. 